So, welcome back everyone to another Calyx video. This one is He Tried Surfing for the First Time featuring Zach and Jay. Now the names sound familiar, but I'm not 100% sure if I know exactly who they are. But if I see their face, I'll be like, oh, I know who they are. So, with that being said, let us get into this video right now. You guys are a pair on screen. Are you as close off screen? I feel like this year, like we've defo, defo talks about our mental health. Our mental health is literally the most important thing to like, we're in the best position to be happy. We just need to make sure we are. Right, Calyx, this is your way. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, God. Get out of the way, you. You got this cow, go on, cow. Go on, this oh. one. Come on, go go on, on, Cal. Come on. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm gonna love this video. I know I am. Oh my God. Wave the wave. Restore, What's huh? happening guys? Welcome hey. back to another episode of Man to Man. Today, yet yep. again, I'm not on my own. I've got two very special guests hey. who are going to be joining me surfing. We're down at the Wave in Bristol. Wait, I've did, never done did it you before. Zach I'm the and there's only the one way to get ready the for the day. Go on! What is happening? <laughs> 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 oh my god! It's it's cool. Cool. Oh, oh, oh sweet oh. Jesus! Oh. oh, there we go. Cold. Oh, it's a cold one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before we even get into the water, the pros wanted to show us how it was done. Yes. Ooh. Hell yeah. And I'm not going to lie. I've always wanted to try surfing. This is the part where I started to get pretty nervous. But then I spotted a surfer called Nick who had founded the wave. He wanted to tell me more about how he started the place and the positive effects of Blue Health. Firstly, thanks for inviting us down today. Pleasure. Really appreciate it. I've been told that you're a massive advocate for Blue Health. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the audience will know too much about that or what, what it means. Yep. So if you could just run me over it. Yeah, in simple terms is, I guess, the healing power of water and being it, um, immersed or right next to water environments and how it has the impact to calm your body down and huh. put you into a much better headspace. And I really realized that a lot of people were struggling because they weren't having access to amazing sort of blue health environment. And I thought actually, if we can create an amazing place, that's how we can really impact people's health and well-being on scale. And then I fused it with, with an amazing surfing technology and this is the result. That's, That's so cool. Is. You've done a great job and you're Thank opening you. up more soon. Yeah, I mean, this is the first one in the world and we want to do it again and again. Um, oh, why not? Dude, that is so now, cool. Now, seeing as I've actually never surfed before, I thought it was a good idea to start the lesson <clears throat> on dry land. Yeah. Has anyone surfed before? Anyone done a bit yeah, of surfing? Yeah, I have, yeah. Okay. Done a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Perfect. Good. Let's go. Yeah, loads. What are yeah, the odds in like, one of us making it all lie. the way to the back today? There's no reason why we go. can't go, go a little bit further if you actually nail this. Yeah. No, but like, is there actually a chance? Like, are, are beginners <laughs> going to have a chance to make it? <laughs> oh, <God>. oh. <laughs> oh <God. laughs> yeah. You can have like complete like stand-ups, you know, especially yeah. the kids. No, I'm not saying anything about the no, I'm 28, you know, you can say it. Say it with your chest. <laughs> I've done no exercise in like nearly a year now, so... <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, this, is it. this is your training ground. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's try it. I want everyone kneeling by their boards. You're not listened already. Huh? You said kneeling, lad. Oh, I'm already on it. OK, we're going to start <laughs> with a couple of paddles. One, two, three. Gently push away from the board. Back foot. Front foot. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he did, he's like, wait, what? What? Okay. Are you going for it? Just there. All right. Yeah, okay. you made that look really easy. Yeah. Catching a wave, baby. Hand, hand over the goes. chest. <laughs> Woo! That's what? it. And get that back foot into position. Oh, God, I'm nice. so inflexible. Nice. Okay. Right. Let's see yours again. Let's, start back down. <laughs> Let's go surfing. Oh, it would be a great idea. <laughs> I'm not even going to get put. I'm not going to get off my belly today. Look, no, nah, you I just got want to inform you both that I have never surfed in my entire life, so I'm going to need a lot of hands today. Oh, you'll get nothing but encouragement me. from us, mate. Yeah? yeah? You've yeah. got this, mate. Thank you. Yeah. I've, I've heard the water's seven degrees. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's going to warm up today. No. So uh, thanks for taking the plunge, literally. <laughs> We're in lockdown three. As we are all fully aware. The big yeah. three. The big three. How were one and two for you both? Because you were living together on lockdown one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's some weird nostalgia about lockdown one, I feel like, at the moment. Because like when it first kind of erupted onto the scene, 
as this new thing that we had to do. It felt good. Like, we felt, like, more connected to, like, the community. Everyone was outside clapping and all that sort of stuff. Like, and, and I kind of miss that now. Like, it was hot, everyone was barbecuing. Like, it just, it was, it was a good time. It was a good time. It wasn't great. It was, no, but yeah. it was like, oh, you're, you're off work or you've, you've got a time to pause. That's what I called it. It was like a bit of a pause. Yeah. yeah. And then the pause went on a bit long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Too long, didn't it? Just pause. A, a bit too, too long, long, too long. Yeah. 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 Just pauses. It's a bit more draining, I think. You know, you've had January after Christmas. Christmas wasn't as good as it, as it would have been. Um, there's no end in sight. It's, it's easy to feel isolated in this. Because that's a kind of consensus at the moment, right? Like, every, no one's happy no, no at the moment. No the zest for life isn't there, you know? But I, I, yeah. but I do think, yeah, here... <laughs> the zest for life? The zest for life! Things like this, <laughs> what else? We're out of January. January was, gonna, was bound to be tough after, after a crappy little Christmas. I do think, like, the roaring 20s will come and we will remember what it is like to live life. <laughs> Mate, but it can, it can get better. And do you know why? Because we've had this fucking hardship, right? Like, it, it was just birthed like a happy generation of, like, young Everyone people. is connected as well. I feel like everyone's gone through yeah. it. I hope I'm still in my 20s when this shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pushing for that. You're not real punk, you're not real punk. Yeah. Oh, no. Even though it was absolutely Baltic, it was time. Time to hit the waves. Oh, that is tasty. Uh, whoa, okay. <laughs> Seven degrees, let's get it, baby. <laughs> Mate, you've turned the waves on. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, shit. You've turned <laughs> the fucking <laughs> waves on. No, not the waves, I'm not ready yet. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Talk to me. Talk to me. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Oh, that was so cool that you, you stood up though. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> How was it living together throughout lockdown one? Living together was good. It was good. But I think we got a bit. We, we decided our ideas are very outsidey and rely on the world being open. And we panicked a bit and went, did this thing called the Stuck Inside Show, which was three episodes a week. We thought everyone's going to be inside, everyone's going to watch this. It meant that we didn't really process this massive pandemic. And I think by the end of it, we were so drained with it that we took what was meant to be three weeks off and come back strong. And it was three weeks off and we came back weak. We got knocked off whack. We were fully living in like, it felt like a, just a simulation where like, we'd be on set all day and then we'd finish and then we'd just go play football at the park together get home, eat together, go to sleep, wake up. Like, we spent the whole, like, time on top of each other, pretty much. Yeah, I was yeah. going to ask, like, you had each other. You worked together, you did everything together, but ultimately you had each other. Yeah. Would you say that that made a big difference? Yeah, I, I, think, I think so. Like, we made sure we did things like, you know, eat together every night, one of us would prep a meal every night and, and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, that's class. Yeah, just, that's just class. like... I'm it's not, not that good. Either. Bro, I moved into my house on my own week two of lockdown yeah how, how was that for you because like like you said in in your vid right like you, you've pretty much lived with people your friends mm -hmm. and you kind of My took that for life. granted yeah and I like did. you step out on your ones and then there's also this big fat fuck off gray cloud above everything i think that all of us youtubers we're all the same as in we'll just if there's like a pandemic going on will just throw ourselves into work and i think that's kind of you forget about looking after yourself you forget oh, okay yeah. it's lockdown i can't meet my friends and so on that was the mistake i made yeah because you need human interaction you need to speak to people it can be something like as amazing as this as going surfing for a day or it's just going playing football in the park as you, yeah. as you guys yeah, said you did yeah. it, i didn't even do the little things like that yeah do you know what i mean it kind of like degrades slowly right so like that like your mental health and, and that so it will start wearing and chipping away. You don't away know that it's happening. Realize. And, and then yeah. suddenly, like, you're kind of a different person. You're almost like a bit of a shallow of yourself. Like, and I realised it was just literally because I was, yeah, just, just fucking a bit low. 
and, and like you kind of can't with reasons why, or you look for rationalization on like why it might be. Or you blame yourself. Yeah. It becomes toxic because you attack yourself that why aren't I this fun, bubbly social person yeah, that yeah. hasn't interacted with another locking. human? After like locking down, because I was a government shielder, so I stayed inside and then I went to the park one day, sat about, you know, socially distanced from, from some mates, and I was finding myself going like, what do I say? Like, I'd forgotten how to, like, socially yeah, like, interact yeah, with people. Yeah, yeah, First of all, no one knew what to do, do when you saw people. Everyone was going for the elbow or what. And then, like, the conversation, like, there was nothing to talk about other than the pandemic. And that was the annoying thing, because mm -hmm. all the conversation has been, like, the fallback isn't the weather, it's, like, the pandemic. And, like... It's a pretty boring topic as well. Like, what yeah, you do, yeah, I was inside. Yeah. What you do, I was inside as well. And that's yeah, kind like, of it, really, isn't it? Yeah. Just inside and bored. Still determined in the freezing cold, we try to get our first good wave. Right, Calyx, this is your wave. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so yeah, what they were saying is like, yeah, it's like, what do you talk about? Like, but so that's why I'm really grateful that honestly, the job that I have now, like, yeah, obviously I, you know, um, it's, it's been tiring lately, but I'm glad that I have this job. Because if I didn't, I don't know if like, I, what would I talk about? You know what I mean? Like if like, cause me and my friend, we call each other pretty often, you know, just like to, you know, check on each other and like, you know, just say, Hey, how you doing? Like, you know, we just check on each other, you know, make sure, make sure we're, we're all good and everything. And, uh, if I didn't have this job, like I, I would literally have nothing to talk to her about. Like, you know what I mean? You know? So I'm actually kind of glad that I have this job that I have, like, I'm actually really grateful that I do. And, and I, and I know not everybody is like, um, oh, what's the word? Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? No, what's the word? Oh, what is, oh, my brain, I can't think of. Resourceful? No, that's not. No, not everybody's as lucky to have, you know, like a job that they actually, cause I still have to go to work that's the thing it's not like a work from home thing i still have to physically go to my job every day well not every day but every day that i have i'm scheduled so and i think with that also it's it's it, it i feel like quarantine has like like well because of the start of it i wasn't working at the one that i'm working at now it was a different one so even before then i would just come home and obviously do my youtube stuff so I mean, but at first I was, I was okay with that. Like, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to have so much more time to do stuff. You know, I was, I was, I was really loving it. I was like, oh my God, like, yeah, yes, <laughs> yes. Like, <laughs> you know, cause I was like, I, I don't know. It just, it, it was nice at the beginning. Cause I was like, ah, oh, yes, I got more time to work on this stuff, get stuff done, you know, play games that I wanted to play. But then like, it just got, it just got too repetitive for me. Like, just because at work, it was a very repetitive job. Like, you send out paperwork, you get paperwork back, you put it into the computer. It was the same thing every single month. Granted, when they interviewed me, they told me it was, it was like, it was that type of job. But it was also, it was like kind of busy work. So I've always been, a, I've, I've always liked doing busy work like that. But like, but with this and just everything, it just, it was, it just, it wasn't as uh, I don't know how to explain it. It just wasn't as good anymore. So I was like, I was losing my mind a bit <laughs> with that. But then obviously, cause you know, I was, I had two months off of work. That's when I really just buckled down into doing my YouTube stuff. And I really just didn't ever leave my upstairs area. Like I wouldn't even like see my parents <laughs> as like hardly ever, like other than to just to go downstairs <laughs> to go get some like water or whatever. <laughs> like it, it was, it was bad. Like I, because I wasn't even like interacting with them. Like I was interacting with a camera. Like I just wasn't like, yeah. So it was, <laughs> it was really weird at first, but that's why I'm actually like with this job, I'm actually really glad and grateful that I get to still go to my job every day, even though like we have to wear masks and everything. It's kind of annoying sometimes, but I'm still glad that I have a job where I get to go out and go and do it. And it's not like where I'm just going and sitting down. No, it's an active, like I'm running around kind of job. So it makes it a bit easier for me, which I understand not everybody has that 
uh, luxury of having that type of job. But that's why I'm like really grateful. Like, I know, like I've said, like, I've, like, I've complained about it, obviously, but like, in, in the, the end result is that I'm glad that I have a job that I can still go to every day because <laughs> it, it, it helps me, you know, just, it just being going outside, it does help. Like it really does. So I, I know I'm rambling off during the middle of this, but like, I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Oh, oh, okay. oh, you almost had it there, bud. Oh, go on, Callum, go on, Callum. Come on. Oh, ah, oh, you almost had it. Ah, oh. oh. let me in. Let me in. Oh, oh. My, oh my god. <laughs> That's the thing about surfing, it's exhausting. He just got whacked in the face with <laughs> it. Yeah. Ah! Hey! <laughs> that was sick! I've legit got brain freeze, hard. Jeez! Oh my god! <laughs> that was a proper little face plant. Oh! <laughs> that was so upset, dude! It was pretty gnarly when, when I made it like one leg up on the board. That was gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> One of the reasons why I love you guys is because you make really unique original ideas. We're quite similar in that like we care about the idea and we care about the execution and try yeah. like perfectionists. How do you you guys are always working at hundred percent? How do you find a balance between like work and life? It's a constant scale, right? Like I remember like lockdown one. You said to me, <laughs> you need to get yourself some hobbies. Like, you had, you had jiu jitsu, right? Yeah. Really? You had that. Sick. That I is really want to do that. That is actually yeah, really I'm nice. such a big fan. When it opens up, I'll tell you. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, like the back to the scale thing, like that balance is, is constantly switching and like mm -hmm. there's work that needs to be done. So, like, also, it's going to be tilted that way. But just being aware of it and, like, mm -hmm. you know, taking time yeah, off. I and think shit that's the key thing, being to. aware of it and then taking the time off after. Yeah. But normally we just not, See, not aware I'm, of it. See, I'm so bad at that balance. It. I'm so and bad you, at it. You end up burning out because you don't feel it creeping up inside you. It just happens. It just happens. It, yeah. And, I, and, I, and I know, I know. Trust me, I know. Joy. You don't enjoy what you're doing. You feel isolated. You yeah. don't, don't want to work. You, you, you beat yourself up for not wanting to work. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, man. Balance, uh, enjoying what you're doing and making such a conscious effort on trying to enjoy the process is, is, is half the battle, I think. It, I yeah, think the tough thing wrong. that I find, like, I, I burn out so much. I burn out once a week. <laughs> so, it's so, part, part of the routine. It's part of the routine. It's the one routine it's, I have, burnout. Like, how do you balance it, right? You've got after party, you've got the channel, you've got... Um, you've no, got no two ways, ways. yeah. Like, is, have you found having, like, new things, like, re-energizes you or have you found that's kind of yeah, overwhelming? Like, but I definitely don't do enough to kind of look after myself. Even when it comes to like the simple things, like yeah. food. Yeah. Understandable, yeah. I'm obviously not very yeah. uh, well versed on looking after myself, coping strategies, mechanisms. Do you have any advice? Between yeah. the both of us, we do, we do a lot. Like we both see therapists once a week. Uh, nice, Zach does nice. loads of journaling. I do a bit of journaling, do meditation oh. most, um, most days. Cold showers. Wow. Cold showers. The and fuck? Shit. Yeah, we do a lot, yeah. <laughs> I feel like the effects, the good effects of them are, you'll see them, it has like a lag, right? Like where you're not, I don't know, you feel like better in yourself gradually. Yeah. And I've been journaling for like years. That really helped with kind of like gratitude and like feeling kind of fulfilled about the things that I was doing. Because like the weeks would go by so quick and I'd feel like nothing happened in them. Whereas like if I looked back at them, yeah. saw everything that was going on, good stuff in the week and highlighting it. That was like such a sick like mental switch to like switch your brain from looking for like bad to like looking for the good stuff. I always think you can relive moments that like, it's so easy to have them pass by, but if you separate them and actually look at them when you're journaling, you can real you can feel the good emotion mm -hmm. attached to it. Like this, it'd be so easy for us just to go work tomorrow, work tomorrow, work to work the day after, work the day after that. But like if we actually just write down and actually reflect on today being a sick day, you you, you get a bit more from it. I'd say the same yeah, you're as well, not wrong. Like, if you if you feel like you know someone at home, talking to the camera now, if you feel like you know someone at home that yeah. kind of 
you feel that, that, that some of this would benefit, send them the video or just go and buy them a, a journal and it's like step one. Or yeah. it's as simple as just talking to them. Yeah, you're not wrong. I couldn't even get on the board at this point. But of course, oh, Zach and Jay suddenly figure it out. Okay. Hey! Oh, what? Yeah! Jeez! Ah! Fuck out! Come on, get out! Nope. Right, I'm very <laughs> jealous of you guys. He's like, I'm so jealous, bro. <laughs> That's sick, though. <laughs> Why did you start therapy? You've been doing it for time, right? I think I, I knew that there was like a, a side to me that I didn't really understand and I knew that I wasn't best place to like look after myself which is like one of the most it's the most important thing that you can do in life is like just make sure that you're okay and that you can function properly and obviously I'd, like three years ago I was still like a massive youtuber and had like done so much for myself come from nothing to like this kid that people now know like across the UK it's like amazing but sometimes to just forget like I forgot that I was like a normal person as well I'd say that yeah, I'm always just at this like level that's just below content and I think it's due to like high expectations and stuff. There was a point at the start of summer where we <clears throat> we were both looking for therapists and like I remember you saying like it really resonated was like I feel like I'm a seven eight out of ten happy right dream job scenario making mm -hmm. decent money living with the best mate working with the best mate like doing all this great shit um, but like how do you get that how do you unlock the extra like two oh, points? No, I was, on like, a, I was at like a six or a five or a six and I was like there's nothing, I don't want anything else. I've got everything. Yeah, I'm not that fulfilled. I'm kind of okay with it all. And there was something missing, I think, that therapy yeah. was, that, that's what I tried to work through with my therapist. And like mental health is such like a, a weird one because I don't know, people are like, I think even like Nobody more anxious about than ever. No one talks about it. Yeah, yeah they're mm -hmm. not like tuned into how they feel. And then if you ask yourself that question, suddenly you're putting physical and mental health on the same level. And you're like, why the fuck am I not investing in like, yeah, I've heard that one it. before. It's it's so you can't argue against it. It's so powerful. Yeah. It's like why don't you look after your brain? Your brain's literally the thing that controls your body. Mm -hmm. The stuff that the chemicals that are released from your brain. Yeah, it's all it all goes hand in hand. What is it? You can have more than the richest person in the world if you ever get enough. Like, if you feel like you've got enough, you can have more than the richest person in the world. I think that, but that practicing that, especially at a young age, I think is yeah. quite hard. You see yeah. old people and they look quite content and happy, don't they? Yeah. Um, it's, it's just hard to get when there's, so, there's always comparison with other people, yeah. Zach and Jay may have mastered the surf, but I was oh. determined I was going to stand up and ride yes. this wave. Okay, this is it. Baby. Get it, Lux. Come on, I'm leaving you. Here comes the music. Oh, Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? What the fuck? <laughs> Where's he gone? I mean, he's done it for a bit. That's no, what the guy probably do. Go on, this one. Go on, pop it. Go on, pop it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on, Callum. Come, Come on, Ben. It's in the bag. Wait, this is actually class. It's been, it kind of looks like so much fun. You guys are a pair on screen. Are you a pair off screen as well? Are you as close <laughs> off screen? You can talk to each other off screen, open up, yeah. basically discuss whatever you want. Like that's the kind of friendship that you guys have. I think, I think like more so over the last year, like where we have been more honest and just more tuned in to like how we're both feeling. Like I feel like we've just naturally started chatting about it yeah. more. And, like. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I feel like this year, like we've definitely definitely talked about our mental health and kind of 
just um, like allowed ourselves to have time off. Basically, it sounds so fundamental. I, I said on the way here, actually, like our kind of mental health is literally the most important thing. And that's, that's a pressured thing, right? It's like, it's a scary thing to think that, but like, as long as you're super aware of it, like you're gonna, I, I feel like I'd be in a way worse mental state if I was working for someone else and felt like I wasn't achieving what I wanted to achieve. So like, we're in the best position to be happy. We just need to make sure we are. I love this series that you're doing. I think it's very, very I do poignant, too. I love very it, important Lex. at this time. A lot of a lot of people kind of struggle in silence, don't they? So have I mean, you had a good response from people? It's been crazy. Oh, yeah, 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 really. Like, I was scared about doing it. Like, I've, I think I've mentioned that in the past. I was scared about making these videos because they're so different. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm probably not Calix in these. I'm Callum, which is you know. The, I I don't really. You know, Calix is an extension of myself, but there are people that these, that everyone looks up to, everyone idolizes someone, I do, we all do. They're like, like we're all the same, we're all human. So we just need to remember that mm -hmm. and we need to speak to each other about stuff because we all are, are all human and we all feel the same thing. Yeah. There's lots of different versions of like one person, right? Like yeah. different hats that you wear in different scenarios. So like, I think we've had a bit of like a craving to show that other side of us in, in a way. And that's why, that's why I rated the series well, thank, so much. Thank and, you, and thanks yeah. for coming down today and, and doing the video with me. Oh, oh, cheers, God. yeah, cheers for having us. Yeah. It's been super interesting <laughs> to hear my friend's stories over these man-to-man -man episodes. Yeah. Zach and Jay, like me, have been able to speak about how they feel honestly and see the positive impact this has had in their lives and on their mental health. As Zach said, our mental health is one of the most important things we have. So you've got to talk about it and look after it. And guys, thank you for watching this new episode of Man to Man. I want to say a huge thank you to Movember for sponsoring yes, this thank content. You so much, they Movember. are on a mission with me to encourage yes. young men to be more open about how they're feeling and to support their mental health. It certainly helped me. Yes. Oh, oh I love it so much. Well, I know I, I know I rambled during the middle of it, but you know, just just something that, you know, I just felt like, I don't know, just just something that you guys, I don't know, I don't know if you needed to know or anything, but like just, I don't know, these videos really like just help bring out that side of me and you know what I mean? Like, you know, just that side of me. Cause I mean, you know, it's not really, it's not really the front or anything. It's just, I show the happy side of me more than anything in the, in my videos. Cause obviously that's what I've, I've always inspired this channel to be was a positive, happy channel. So that's kind of why it's like, <laughs> yeah but hopefully you guys did enjoy uh, make sure to check out all the links in my description um i'm gonna leave uh the links that calyx has you know to probably zach jay and uh november you know i'm gonna leave all the links in the, in the description and i hope to see you guys in the next video and i hope this video helped you out just a little bit today too somehow i don't know maybe maybe just made you think about stuff or something but yeah i love you guys so much and I'll see all you beautiful, wonderful people in the next video. All right, bye.